It's Caitlin Bennett, dude. Caitlin Bennett put out a video called I Survived the Rona. Well, that's good. She survived. She got corona. I guess we'll see. Uh, shit girl is uh, has survived. So uh, I'm not surprised that she's a young, she's a young person. Um, let's see. Let's see the video. You got corona and died from not wearing the right mask. Say that again. I hope you get corona and die for not wearing the right mask. What? <laughs> Well, I've got some bad news for her and all the other haters out there. I got corona and survived. How is this a flex? I got corona and didn't die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like, but like, how is, how is this a, a burn? How is this a big own? Ooh, ooh, I was medically unsafe enough to contract the disease. The virus of the global pandemic. I probably gave it to other people while I did that. And then I got symptoms and survived. How is that a fucking like... <laughs> she's, she's posting cringe, bro. After nearly a year and a half of COVID going around, uh -huh. it was finally my turn to get sick. <coughs> I was really convinced that after all the rallies I went to in 2020, all the supporters I took selfies with, and all of the plane rides I've been on that I definitely already had COVID. But I guess I never actually got it. To my luck... I guess I never actually got it? How does she not know? Does she not get tested? Uh, thank you, Zero's uh, streaming uh, uh, for the tier two for 12 months, dude. Appreciate that. So... She thought she got it. It sounds like she she got sick several times and didn't get tested because she says apparently I never got it. You know what could have happened? Maybe she just got it more than once. <laughs> like what? <laughs> you know who I did end up catching it from just a few weeks ago? My own family. I'm not surprised that you caught COVID from your dumbass family. How does she think? I don't know anybody else in the whole world that regularly does the bicycle stick meme to themselves. How? How do you not? Like, all the time, she's like, ah, <laughs> check it out. This thing happened. And then, like, the whole conversation is just this. It's just that. The whole time. <laughs> Where she goes, look at this thing. I'm not owned because I owned myself, loser. You can't own me if I did it to me. <laughs> it's not a win. That's not a W, Caitlin. You're a fucking loser, bro. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Thanks, guys. Oh, my God, my insides are on fire. <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys about my own experience with it and share what helped me. She sounds like shit right now. And she looks a little under the weather. That sucks, man. I was sick, too, recently. It wasn't COVID, though, because I'm safe. Get better, because I learned firsthand... And I'm vaccinated. ...that this sucks. Nothing cooler than contracting a preventable disease. True. Unfortunately, thanks to big tech censorship, I don't think I'll be able to tell you everything about my sickness and... Rec oh, yeah, I'm not going to... Due to censorship, she's not going to be able to tell you everything. So please buy my premium video thing. Jesus fucking Christ, bro. Covery. So head on over to libertyhangout.tv. It's such a wanna... fucking grift, dude. It's such a grift. Every single video she says, well, you can't see. This is just like porn previews, but shittier. This is the eight minute clip of porn. Right? And she's like, oh, wait, but I'll give you the 30 minute uncut if you buy my su my subscription. <laughs> I want to catch my full uncensored thoughts on what I went through because you guys know there's a lot more I want to tell you that I can't right here. So earlier in the month I was at a wedding and after I had already returned home my younger sister got a notice that a classmate of hers tested positive for coronavirus and she was exposed to them. A few days went by and I started getting a cough so I took a COVID Ashy test and boo. it came back <laughs> negative but then my symptoms started to get worse over the next few days so the rapid tests tend to come back negative sometimes. So I took another test and lo and behold it came back positive very very quickly. Once I started getting a fever the worst symptoms started to develop the body aches and chills. <laughs> 
I have been sick a lot of times in my life, but I have never experienced such painful body aches before. It's so interesting to me that she's anti-vax and she's and yet still she is reporting like holy shit I this is the sickest I've ever been by a million miles. How? 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 How are they like this? How are they genuinely like this? Don't get vaccinated. It's fine. It's just the worst illness I've ever had. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus fucking Christ, bro. Even with my temperature at just 100 degrees, it was still unbearable. Then later, I lost my sense of taste and smell, which was probably the weirdest part of this entire experience. I figured that it wouldn't be such a big deal until it happened to me. What the fuck? What? Ah! Ah! That's literally... Can someone just clip that? I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. I figured that <laughs> probably the weirdest part of this entire experience. I <laughs> this right here. I figured that it wouldn't be such a big deal until it happened to me. Yeah, no fucking shit, dumbass. What are you talking about? These things have to literally touch home for people to have any sort of empathy whatsoever. She's a fucking sociopath. God. Kazoo day next to the nine months. Jeez, is she coming around? No, poop girl is not coming around. She's so fucking stupid. Everything I ate was either salty or tangy and it was just really disgusting. My cough started to get so bad that we actually bought a pulse oximeter to monitor my oxygen levels. Wow, we had to monitor her oxygen levels because we were worried about the global pandemic virus taking her life. Jesus fucking Christ, just a normal cold. Take it seriously. And there were some days that I had really bad nausea from my high fever and cough. My husband didn't start to get symptoms until three days after me, and his came on even quicker than mine. He started getting intense chest pain and a high fever. Mom, I have a fever. By the way, the, the, I don't know if it's, this is a great ad for the vaccine, 100% a great fan. Uh, if only there was a way to prevent this. Um... I don't know if it's actually, like, it, it could be, like, some sort of bronchitis, but pleuritis, if you've ever had it, um, if you ever coughed and your entire chest has gone on fire, uh, it's usually, well, not always, but it's, it, it can be caused by, uh, the, what is it called, pleurisy, um, uh, inflammation of the, uh, of the, the uh, I'm going to say it wrong, but there, there's, like a, there's, like, a membrane around your, around your uh, uh, lungs or whatever. Um, it hurts. Pleurisy sucks. I've had it. I've had it one time, uh, and I've had bronchitis a couple times, which is also really painful. Um, yeah, not good. Not good stuff. Uh, I do not suggest getting that ever. <laughs> uh, she has the excuse that she can't be the one, uh, the one who dealt dealt it because she can't smelt it. Wowzers! Wow, a poop joke. <laughs> good job. Good job in the poop joke. <laughs> yeah, pleurisy sucks. But since he has asthma, he decided to start treatment early since his chest was hurting so bad. Was it ivermectin? Please tell me they're going to make an ivermectin thing. On his second day of symptoms, he went to get monoclonal antibody treatment. Oh, he got the he just got antibody treatment. Do you know what antibody treatment is? It's the same thing as if you would have just gotten the vaccine. Just get that's what antibodies are. So it makes the antibodies of the vaccine. Why are you getting the vaccine? Why are you getting the antibody treatment instead of just the thing that makes the antibodies? Pretty weird that he went to a real hospital for the same for the same thing. By the way, if you get if you get COVID and you refuse the vaccine, I don't think you should be allowed in the fucking hospital. I'm going to toss that out there. That might not be the most purely ethical thing, or not. The, it's not the most purely moral, but I think it is more ethical. How about that? Like unless they have open hospital beds. You know what I mean? Like, like unless their COVID is, stats are pretty low. But, like, I, I think you're a piece of shit. A huge piece of shit. And I think I speak for most people in the chat. If you refuse the vaccine on political grounds, not because you have, like, an illness or whatever, or someone in your family, you know, can't handle or whatever. If you refuse it on political grounds, don't go to the fucking hospital, you pussy. Walk it off, bitch. And he started feeling better just two days later.
Uh, ethical versus moral. Moral is like stealing is bad. Ethical understands that there are situations where stealing is more good than bad. Does that make sense? Ethical is like sort of when you apply it. Later. He never lost his taste like me and he never got more than a minor cough for a couple days. After I had been fighting off my illness naturally for over a week, I wasn't getting any better. In fact, I was probably getting worse and had a fever of nearly 102. So I decided to go get the antibody treatment myself. Wow. You decided to go get the antibody treatment too. If only you had your own antibodies first. Hi, Squarmf. Thanks for the 200 biddies. My fever was gone literally the next day. And well, yeah, because that's what the vaccine does. It gives you antibodies. Why are they so stupid? What happened to fighting it off naturally? Di almost dying, probably. But then if you are obese, you have a way higher chance to get severe symptoms. So by that logic, you don't, if you don't work out and are obese, you should not get treated at the hospital as well. See, that would sound smart, OG Smirnoff, except I can't give you fat. I can't make you fat by being around, but I absolutely can communicate a disease to you, you dumb fucking loser. You serious? You dumb piece of shit. I can't imagine being that fucking stupid. What kind of fucking dumbass would make that one-to-one? -one? Jesus Christ. Please, if you're going to say anything in my chat, can you make it less fucking brain dead? Like, seriously. Just a little bit less brain dead than that. Rub a brain cell together. Are you fucking serious? God. Please. Please. By that logic? No, that's not logic. You're not using logic. You are incapable of using logic. Are you serious? I can't believe that you would think that. You fucking imbecile. I can't... I, I genuinely can't get over how fucking stupid that is. Jesus Christ. Uh, but, but if, if you say that someone uh, refuses... <laughs> no, if you refuse the fucking vaccine, you absolute fool. What? What? No! <laughs> Vaccines don't prevent you from getting COVID. You know what it does? You know what it does? You know what it, you know what it does do? It, it, it lowers the ability for you to even catch a viable version of COVID because your body kills it so quickly. That's why you wear a mask, by the way. You wear the mask along with the vaccine so you don't pass it to other people. What are you talking about? You could be 500 pounds, dude. You could be fucking six bills. Just, I, because, <laughs> I don't know if you understand... Being more susceptible to dying from, from COVID is not the same thing as being, is refusing the vaccine. I can't believe that your brain would consider those even close to the same thing. Like what? It's like, it's like someone saying like, hey, you're safer with a seatbelt on. And you're like, hmm, wow, pretty sus that you even got in the car to begin with if, if car accidents are possible. Like, do you realize how fucking stupid that is? You should feel bad. Like, you, if I hope to God that you don't look... Like, when you say words, do you feel confident in yourself that you are smart and well thought out? And that other people, when they engage with you, think, oh, that's a smart person that has intellect? Because I, if you do have that... I got to tell you, buddy, that's going to come crumbling down because nobody thinks that you're a smart person if this is the way that you think. Literally nobody in your life, unless they're also incredibly fucking brain dead. That could be the only other option. So please, for the love of God, please, before you press send on anything you ever type in my chat or fucking anywhere else again, just reconsider how fucking stupid you are and then maybe ask an adult for some sort of supervisory editing over the words that you're about to send out into the ether because I gotta be honest, it is not the best representation of your brain and how it functions in society. If you don't have some middleman preventing you from just saying dumb shit unabashed like this. It is like you need a filter, dude. Because holy fucking shit. Just the dumbest. And even my <laughs> Comorbidities mean just die. He's coming back. I was kind of nervous <laughs> to get this treatment since it 
It is absolutely mental, fucking stupid, but I bro. am so thankful that I did, and I'm so thankful that Ron DeSantis has made it so widely available in the state of Florida. You're so thankful that he gave you the ability to get the antibody treatment. So here's here's the fucking here's the fucking here's the fucking like I said here's the fucking several times here is the fucking okay. Apparently, it's better to get COVID and then beat it with the thing vaccines make than never get COVID and have it be prevented by the thing vaccines make. Like, you might get COVID in a breakthrough case from your vaccine, but do you know the odds of getting a breakthrough case from the vaccine? Like, 1 in 87,000. It's like 1 in... 2000 or something to get or what was it like one in 200 or something i don't remember the, uh, there was a video that went around recently that someone did the math on the statistics of of how you even get covid let me see if i could find it just so we can like watch that real quick because i think it's super important yeah it's right here uh this is super important this argument let's, because yes you can let's just let's just watch this real quick uh so if you're a dumb dumb and you don't understand if you don't understand anything about stuff uh, this will help you understand things about stuff. Listen, listen, please listen for the love of God. I am so fucking tired of this argument because yes, you can still get COVID if you are fully vaccinated, but do you know the statistics to that? Do you know the odds of getting COVID if you are fully vaccinated? Because I do. I'm not a medical expert. OG Smirnoff, you need to pay attention to this. Please, for the love of God, stop talking. Stop, stop typing things. You are not the smart person in this room. You need to listen and not talk. Genuinely, you need to listen and not talk. Because you are literally spreading misinformation out of sheer ignorance right now. Like, literally out of sheer ignorance. So, you need to stop being like, like, Oh, I'm going to type and ah, I got to get the last word. You're not going to get the last word, bro. In fact, in fact, just to know, just to make sure that you specifically listen, I'm going to give you a little hot 600 action. There you go. Now you can't even talk in here, dude. So nothing you say will be heard. But what you can do is listen. Finally, open your brain and listen. Genuinely try to listen to this person. Do it for you. Do it for me, buddy. Here we go. A spicy 600 expert but i'm really fucking good at numbers so let me show you there are 330 million people in the united states right divide that by the 41 million covid cases that we've had and that gives you a one in eight chance of catching covid in the united states one in eight people one in eight have gotten covid in the united states of those 41 million people you've had 670,000 or so deaths right that's a one in 61 one in 61 people in the united states have died from covid one in 61 people who have gotten COVID in the United States have died. Crazy. Okay? Let's, let's take this further. There are 173 million people who are fully vaccinated in the United States, right? Do you know how many breakthrough cases there have been? Since August, uh, as of August 30th, there's been 12,908. That gives you a one in 13,402 chances of catching COVID if you are fully vaccinated. One in 13,000 chance. One in 13,000. I didn't ban Smirnoff. I hot 600 of him. He shouldn't be banned. Unless I did. Did I ban him? I didn't mean to. No, just timed out. 402 versus one in eight. Let's take it a step further. There have been 2,437 deaths related to COVID or, or people who are COVID positive and fully vaccinated, right? 480 of those aren't related to COVID, which means that they died from a car accident or something totally unrelated to COVID. Secular, thanks for the sub. So we're going to round that to 2,000. 173 million people in the United States are fully vaccinated. Divide that by the 2,000 that have died fully vaccinated from COVID. That gives you a 1 in 86,500 chances of getting COVID and dying if you are fully vaccinated. So unvaccinated, you have a 1 in 8 chance of catching COVID. You have a 1 in 61 chance of dying from COVID. And fully vaccinated, you have a 1 in 13,402 chances of catching COVID. And a 1 in 86,500 chances of dying from COVID. 
How about we all just realize that billions of shots have been given worldwide, billions of people have been fully vaccinated, and we have a way to end this pandemic. We have a way for children to stop losing Say their it. fucking parents. Go get the fucking shot. Woo! Woo! Here's the link. Let me uh, copy the tweet. There you go. Click that. Click that. I mean, come on, dude. It's the easiest shit ever. Easiest shit fucking ever, dude. I didn't even know if I'd be allowed to get it since I'm young and I'm not at risk, but I was just able to walk right in, tell them I had COVID and got treatment for free. Now, I can't give any medical advice since I'm not a doctor. I could give some medical advice. Go get the vaccine. <laughs> That's it. That's the medical advice. But I would definitely Hello, Lance, see love your face, if your bud. state offers the antibody treatment because this is what worked for my husband and I and what's working for thousands of other people. The antibody treatment is just the back end of the vaccine. The vaccine prevents you from getting the 102 degree fever it prevents you from having the incredibly painful chest pain. It prevents you from losing your smell and your taste. It prevents you from having the the incredible cause. What else was it? Her body chills that she said was the worst in her life. The most painful body chills she's ever experienced. You could just simply have the antibodies up front instead of getting them later. What? By the way, the vaccine is also free. <laughs> In the state of Florida, anyone of any age can receive it, but other states are much, much more restrictive. So before you get sick, I'd look into seeing what treatments you have available to you. Before you get sick, how about just not getting sick? Could that be it? I have antibodies to COVID due to my vaccine. <laughs> just... Like, the antibody treatment is harder to produce. It's not a viable long term. Of course. It's not. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I don't trust medical professionals telling me to get vaxxed. Now, excuse me while I go to the doctor's office for COVID treatment. Exactly. Uh, angry Ratter, thanks for following. The most shocking thing about this whole experience is that I was surprised my husband and I got hit as hard as we did. I've had friends who have only experienced cold-like symptoms when they came down with COVID. Some only lost their taste and smell, but we were not as lucky. Yeah, she's for free healthcare when it comes to COVID uh, 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 treatments, of course. But I'm sad to tell all the haters out there that I'm better now. I don't care that you're better now. What the fuck? I don't want you to die necessarily. I just didn't want you to go to the hospital for it because you have, you're taking up, you are taking up people's fucking ability to get treated for things not COVID by taking up hospital beds when you refuse the vaccine. Okay? You refuse the vaccine? Fuck it. Don't go in there. <clears throat> Who said anything about the uh, the the thing v stopping the virus? What does that mean? What does that mean? You have a one in eighty seven thousand chance of dying from it. That's the thing we want to stop. I don't care if you get a little bit of COVID, as long as you live from it and you take the take the measures to wear a mask at all times. Yeah, like what? Just fucking just do the right thing. Get the thing that that helps prevent spreading it. Like, because you're just not going to have it in your body as long. And if you're not incubating the fucking virus, you know, where it reproduces. You're not incubating the virus and being a fucking walking hatchery. It's definitely more safe when you are fighting these these viruses rather than waiting for your body to catch up to the thing that it's not able to catch up to. And then it's also better to not have to take up hospital beds from people that need it from non-COVID things. It's also better to wear a mask so you don't spread it anyways. And just not spread any other fucking germs. There is no reason to be like... Oh, yeah, well, the virus doesn't kill the, or the, the vaccine doesn't kill the virus. So, I mean, wow, I guess we, you know, oh, the, the fucking companies are lying to you. What are you talking about? It's not about eradication. Why are we letting perfect get in the way of good? The idea is that it's a good thing to minimize the risk to you, your family, and anybody else you might come into contact with, unfortunately, when you have asymptomatic or symptomatic COVID in any situation. Any situation. It's like... Do you not have a lawn? 
If you have a lawn, or you know someone with a lawn, you might know that there are dandelion problems. Would you rather A, wait for the, and you don't like dandelions, let's say you hate dandelions. Would you rather A, wait for dandelions to sprout in your yard and then kill them, or B, prevent dandelions from sprouting in your yard, except for the occasional one where maybe the, 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 it, it broke through. You just pull that fucker out or you can hit it with some, some stuff, and that way you have a nice, beautiful, non-biodiverse lawn like you people like. <laughs> Like, like what? it's the same thing. It's literally the same thing, except dandelions don't fucking kill you usually. And they don't kill other people. But dandelions can spread to your neighbor's yard, and I don't think that they'd be very happy if they're, they got dandelions because, you know, and they didn't want dandelions because you, pref you didn't protect your lawn, right? Now, this isn't that big a thing, but if you're in an HOA, you know for a fact that that shit sucks. So, I'm just saying, like, like why do you want to give everybody dandelions or even have the possibility... Of giving dandelions. Dandelions are, in fact, edible. Yeah. Damn, when you think about that, lawns are kind of like eugenics. I mean, they literally are. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, uh, if you have a nice, grassy lawn that doesn't have any, any sort of biodiversity in it, I think you're a weirdo. But uh, if you absolutely have to because you're HOA, then whatever. Um, I'm not a big fan of dandelions, frankly. But uh, some people like them. But, yeah. Old houses mean no HOAs. You're goddamn right. That's why I don't have an HOA. Um... Yeah, so it doesn't make any it doesn't make any goddamn sense. I have no idea why your rebuttal to the vaccine being viable is it doesn't kill the the virus 100%. Like what are you talking about? It's about making it minimized. It's about making sure that you just take as many precautions as you can. Again, it's like the seatbelt. It's like are you going to die in a car accident today? You could, but the odds are very clearly much lower to die in a car accident if you're wearing your seatbelt. It doesn't mean that you're going to swerve into oncoming traffic on purpose, right? It just means if anything happens, then you'll be a little bit more safe. It doesn't guarantee your safety. It just helps. If you're a, if, And if you're like, oh, well, I don't want to wear a seatbelt. They're uncomfortable and I need my freedoms. Then die. And I have the best governor in the country, Ron DeSantis, to thank for that. So that was my exciting experience and why I haven't filmed a video in a hot minute. I didn't want to dive into the politics around COVID because one, I'd probably get banned. And two, I just wanted to share my experience with you guys so that you can prepare for when it happens to you. When it happens to you. You know how you can prepare? Just get vaccinated, you dumb motherfucker. It was not fun for me. And really? I probably would have you mean the global pandemic wasn't a fun sickness to have? Surprise. Had it so much worse if I didn't find a treatment center to receive antibodies. If you guys want to hear more about our experience. It's so weird. It is so fucking weird to want the back end of the vaccine when you could have prevented the weak. Are you serious? Like, genuinely, genuinely. How can you go through COVID and then on the back end of it think, yeah, I definitely liked the experience of having COVID. Ridiculous. Experience. We have a full length episode up right now at libertyhangout.tv that goes into way more detail than I can tell you right here. And if you want to support my work to- Anyway, she's done. Uh, just absolutely fucking- Crazy pants, bananas. Crazy pants, bananas. <clears throat> Thought hospitals didn't have any patients. No, no, no. The hospitals are definitely full. <laughs> Especially in Florida. By the way, uh, Florida has, uh, I believe, the worst uh, exposure rate of COVID in the country, doesn't it? This is my heroin. Just inject the cringe directly into my veins. Well, there you go. Um... <sighs> Pretty bad in Florida. Yeah, I don't live in. I used to live in Florida. I'm glad I don't. I live in Michigan, which is a way better state. Pfizer gang, thank you, Crusader Three Seven Gaming. Um, going to the ER is fun. It said nobody ever. I don't think anybody has enjoyed the ER. That shit's dumb. Also, on top of, on top of the whole thing, um, if you don't get vaccinated. And you don't give a shit about yourself. And you don't give a shit about anybody else. I don't know how to feel bad for you, man. I just don't know how to feel bad. I I don't want these people to die. I, I, and I think... 
we get a little callous about it, and I think that's fine, and I think I think it makes a lot of sense because I mean they're callous in general as well. Um, but I think if you really think about it, like I don't want Caitlyn Bennett to die from COVID. Like, do I want her dead? No, 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 I don't. I, I want her to be a better person. That's not really what's going to happen. But um, am I going to be sad if she dies from COVID because she refuses a vaccine? Fuck no. I, I can I can. I can do both not wish someone's death and not lament that death if it does happen. It's just fucking crazy.